In this copy trading tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to copy traders on the BitGet exchange using the BitGet mobile app. All right. So it means that you can actually do this even if you are on the go once you have the app on your phone. Okay. So make sure you follow these instructions strictly and abide by the rules and the tips that I'm giving you in this video so that you don't make mistakes. All right. So if you don't have an account with BitGet Exchange already, BitGet is one of the best when it comes to crypto copy trading. Okay, one of the best platform out there and they do have a lot of good traders. So if you want to earn passive income um, by copying other traders, you can use the BitGet Exchange. The link to sign up for BitGet account will be in the video description. And as a new user, you can get up to $4,000 welcome bonus once you sign up for the BitGet Exchange. So once you sign up and you get your account funded, once you log into the app, this is what the BitGet app looks like, okay? So the app is very um, friendly. You can use it even as a beginner. You can navigate through the app. So once you come in here to the app, you want to go ahead and click on the copy trading option. So once you click on the copy trading option, it brings us to this copy trading interface, okay? Once you come in here, okay, you have the data of each trader displayed here. You can analyze this at a glance before you even click to see more details. Then, if you want to become a trader, if you're a good trader out there, you want to start making some money on the BitGet Exchange, use the Become a Trader to apply for that. So, here you will see the details for now. We cannot copy this trader because his or her trading room is filled up. You see that at 1000 out of 1000 that the trader has made a room available for, they are already copying his strategy. So you see the trader is actually good, all right? As you can see the statistics here, the trader is good, okay? Now the AUM you are seeing here is, um, AUM stands for Asset Under Management. So this is the total asset under this man the management of this particular trader. So this asset is the asset of all of these 1,000 persons who are copying um, his or her strategy. So this is the amount of money they have allocated to that particular trader. So that is the amount of money under the trader's management. Okay, the next person is equally filled up. The next is filled up. So we we'll keep scrolling down until you see a trader that you want to copy. For instance, this one has some space. So out of 1,000, we have 992 copying this trader. And then his um, return, okay, for the past um, three weeks, okay, this is the um, return on investment. You see the total profit the trader has made. You see the accumulated followers. Okay, the total profit for the past three weeks, you see that here. Okay, and then you equally see the AUM, which is the asset under this trader's management, and then his win rate is 98%. If you like this person, you just go ahead and click on copy, to copy the trader. Okay, the same thing with the um, next person here. If you like this trader, you just go ahead and click on copy to copy the trader. Now, if you don't know any trader to copy, if you are confused as sort of the trader to copy, what I normally do is, if I come back to the BitGet homepage here, okay, you see all of these options here. So you want to scroll this, all right? Scroll this to the left and it will show you the next page. So if I slide this, if I slide this to, to the left, okay, so this is what you'll be seeing. If you slide it to the left, you see this option. Now, what you want to do is to click on this star traders. Okay, these are the traders that are doing very good on the BitGet exchange. So if you click on the start traders, it will open up, let it load up so that I'll show you what you should be expecting. So once this open up, okay, um, on this page here, what you want to do is to scroll down here. Okay, here you see, all right, summaries of, you know, what BitGet is saying. You can see the statistics of the copy trading option on the BitGet exchange, all right? It's actually very good. So when you scroll down here, these are star traders. These are traders that are verified by the BitGet Exchange. And um, this is based on their performance. They're actually good, all right? So you come down here and look for any of these traders you want to copy, okay? And then you go to the copy trading option and, um, and, and copy. Now, once you're here, what you're looking at is if the trader still has space, okay? This trader still has space it means that we can still copy this trader. This trader equally still has space. We can copy this trader. So that is what you'll be looking at and take note. We cannot copy this one. This one is room is filled up. This we can copy. So we cannot copy this person and then the other person as well. So what you want to do, all right, is to um, just look at this particular trader, if it is this one or this one. 
all right you can either look at the name to go search for it or another thing you can do is just to highlight okay once you highlight the name you copy it all right so take note of these two traders if i go back to the home page once i'm on the home page click on copy trading again and then it will bring us to this page now instead of you to go ahead and start searching for that trader you can just click on the search icon here once you click on the search icon go ahead and input in the trader you just copied okay input in the trader you just copied and then click on the search option so once you click on the search option it pops up that trader so you see the statistics of that trader here all right now once the trader pops up we'll just go ahead and click on copy trading so or we'll just click on the trader once we click on the trader you can see the trader statistics let this load up so once this load up okay once again um, you can go ahead and check the data of this trader so you see that this trader has carried out um, in a lot of trade total transaction is 3578 and um, out of that 3578 3407 are winning trades and then the trade that this trader has as losing trade are just 177 and you see all the tokens that this trader is trading down here okay so um, the next thing go to the order you see that the trader has a lot of orders okay so these are all short orders about 19 of these trades are all in losses all right all of these trades are in losses now for this for those of you who will be copying traders what i will advise is um as you can see here this trader trades with 50x leverage so when you are copying a trader which is why i love bitget okay you want to tweak your own settings as i will be showing you in a moment so uh, and then if you check the history if i go ahead and click on the history you see that all of the trades that are closed are all closed in profit okay then the next thing you want to check is the copiers you see here the amount of money this trader has made for those who are copying his strategies and so on so if you're okay with it just go ahead and click on copy trading once you click on copy trading Okay, the next thing you want to do is first you want to click on this arrow to expand all the tokens that this trader is trading. Okay, then what I personally do, I don't copy every trade. All right, the reason for that is if I come back, okay, and I go to the um, overview here, once I scroll down, you'll see that the trades that this trader trade most of the time is BTC and Ethereum. All right, so you don't need to copy every strategy. So we'll just select only BTC and Ethereum. If I click on copy trading again, click on this arrow to expand it. So on select all of this. So once you on select all of that, we only have the BTC and Ethereum trade left. Okay, the next thing you want to do is to click on advanced settings. I don't use this option, so I use the advanced option. Click on the advanced and it will open up this way. Now for the margin, it tells you, do you want to follow the trader? You want to set up your own. So I want to set my own, just click on it and click on USDT. Okay. And um, the next thing you want to do is the leverage. It tells you, do you want to follow the trader? Remember this trader is trading with 50X. So you want to set up your own leverage. So you go ahead and click on this and then select, um, you know, um, use this according to specified leverage. Now, if you use the setting option, the official setting option, it means that you need to go to your official account and do the setting manually. But I want to use this specified leverage, so I'll go ahead and click on use specified leverage. And for the leverage, I just put in here 10x leverage, okay? So put in 10x for long and then put in 10x for short. You confirm that. And then the, the leverage, the margin, okay? For the margin, you can enter from $10, as you can see okay the minimum is from ten dollars to around um ten dollars to three thousand so you just enter ten dollars here it means that whenever the trade the trader opens a trade okay this is the amount that that trader will be opening that particular trade with if you want it to be three thousand go ahead if you want it to be hundred go ahead and put that on okay and then for the risk management if you click on the arrow here it tells you to set stop loss and the rest now personally i don't use stop loss i don't do take profit once the trade is open, I will be notified and I will just watch when the market goes in my favor, I'll close the trade. Because if I say put 10% or put, um, uh, let's say 10% or even 20% or thereabout, you will get hit and then the trade will still end up, you know, closing in profit. So when this, once the trade is in profit, I manually close the trade. Okay. And then for the maximum uh, open trade amount, okay, you just go ahead and put in, depending on what you have. I normally put in $50 here. All right. So I'll go ahead and click on confirm. Okay. 
So once I click on confirm, the same setting you did for the BTC is the same setting you would do for Ethereum. So once again, click on USDT on the features, click on according to specified leverage, then put in your leverage. All right, then next leverage, you can use between five to 10 next leverage. Don't use more than that. All right, so you put in the amount again, then now if you have enough capital, you can make that 100, you can make it 500. It all depends on what you want. All right, so once you click on confirm, the next thing you want to do is to click on follow trade or follow. Once you click on follow, it gives you a summary of this. Once you confirm this automatically, you are now copying this trader. So whatever the trade the, uh, the traders take, it will automatically be reflecting in your account. Now, the beautiful aspect of it is that because we have specified all of this that you see here, if the trader is trading with 50x leverage, we are only going to be trading with 10x leverage. Okay, and once again, pay attention, please, whenever the trade is in profit, close the trade. Don't wait to make the whole world in one trade. Close the trade and wait for the trader to open another trade. Because at the end of the day, um, some of those trades you see that are in losses were sometime in profit. Okay, greed is why a lot of persons lose money in the crypto space. So be careful when you are copying a trader, always close the trade whenever it is in profit. That is it for this video. If you do gain value from the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any challenge, any issue, always use the comment section. Once again, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and links to sign up for BitGet um, Exchange will be in the video description. They are the best when it comes to crypto um, copy trading. Go and try them out and you can trade spot on the BitGet Exchange with zero fee. I'll see you guys in the next video.